through the list of stats can be a bit daunting, especially when it comes to all those combat stats. But understanding what they all mean can give you an edge in battle. There's a lot of different stats there, but let's start with the basics. Attack, Defense, and HP. The attack stat is quite literally how strong your attack is. Think of it in terms of your weapon. The better your weapon is, the stronger your attack will be. If your attack is stronger than your opponent's is, then theoretically you're going to do more damage to their army than they'll do to yours. I say theoretically because the next combat stat is going to come into play to affect this outcome, and that's the defense stat. Where attack can be thought of as a weapon, defense can be thought of as armor. It's the buffer between your opponent's attack and your troops. Again, the better your armor is, the more damage you can deflect from your opponent. So what about HP? This is your troops' hit points, or basically how much damage they can take. Think of this as the literal troop under that armor. Your defense stat will determine how much your opponent's attack actually gets through the armor to your troop, then the HP determines how much of that damage your troop can withstand before it becomes either injured or dies. Let's look at a very fictitious example here to illustrate how these all fit together with some fake but easy to understand numbers. Let's say you have an attack stat of 100, your opponent has a defense stat of 10, and an HP of 200. Their defense will absorb 10 damage from your attack with the remaining 90 hitting their troop. Now, what about that stat that says they increase the damage you deal to an opponent? Isn't that just the same thing as the attack stat? Well, not exactly. It's a bit different and I'll explain how it works. Now previously, I compared your attack to the opponent's defense and HP. This is an example of damage. The difference between your attack and your opponent's defense will determine the amount of damage their troops take or how much HP they'll lose. When you increase your damage stats, this means that percentage increase is added directly to the amount of damage they take. And there are also stats that will reduce the damage you take from your opponent, which work the same way by subtracting a percentage of the damage that your troops take. To help you decide which combination of stats from your equipable items will work best for you, try running a few tests and watching the battle replay to see the results. I recommend using the number of troops your opponent loses in the first round of attacks as the number to test between each of your attempts. Leave a few infantry on your farm, then attack it with your main, switching out your items between each attack. Just be sure to always use the same lineup of troops in both your farm and your main to make sure the results are consistent. This should help you figure out the best combination of items possible and give you that winning edge. Bah!